Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever time of day it is. This is the Layback Gamer, and we are back with some more Elder Scrolls Legends. Now, I thought I would cue in, well, I'd start this video at this screen, and this is the season ending screen. As you can see, we got just a single copy of the Emperor's Blade. 110 soul gems and 30 gold so I figured yeah we might as well stop in get the collect this increase our total to 425 oh interesting this is new so I suppose this is the month this is different monthly logins I get hit different cards. Today looks like I get one in random rare card and it looks like cast out is the one I'm getting. Not bad. I'm just going to take a second to cut to look at these. This is only one. That's one core pack. One Heroes of Skyrim. One arena ticket. That's nice. Or event ticket. That's one. That's only one. Oh, I can see all the numbers at the bottom. <laughs> I don't read. Now, this is the one I'm excited for. Day 28. That's going to be pretty good. And we're going to be getting quite a bit of gold throughout the months. And some soul gem fragments. So, this is going to be nice. But cast out, pretty decent card. Unsummon a creature for three mana. Or a pro or free on a prophecy. I didn't catch that in the recent updates. But, and again, I don't... I do read them, but I didn't read it that closely. So, this time around... You know, this green's a little bright. I'm hoping post will fit... Uh, it'll be fixed afterwards. But we're going to be winning five games with yellow and purple. I still don't remember what the yellow attribute is, but the purple is endurance. We're going to gain 40 health, and this gives us an excuse to go ahead and test out the new Emperor's Blade card that we got. So I suppose this is going to be the first time, I think, because I don't believe I have a deck dedicated to this. No, I don't. So this is going to be a first time where I create a deck right in front of, right in front of you guys. So, of course, it is going to be Endurance, and I have, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's Willpower. I did not know that for the longest time, and I'll probably still forget it afterwards. Alright, let's go ahead and add the Emperor's Blade, the Etiquette of Azur, and the Spell Sword Summoning. No, 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 I, I don't need that. So I'm wondering, do I have a Legendary? Yes, General Tullius. Go ahead and collect those, fra those Soul Gems. Thank you for that. Okay, so what do I want to make this deck? It is a spell sword, so I'm not 100% sure. Hmm. So I suppose you'll get to see the thought process that I put in here. I'll definitely put a couple of swarmy guys. I think I'll make this a very token-heavy deck. You can hear that? Sorry about that. That is my dog going crazy upstairs. I don't know why. Nope, I don't want... Well, that might be... It could be useful. Especially if we come here. I think I got the Bruma Armors. So if I don't, this is going to... Oh, I don't. Unless it's... No, it's not before me. Is it three men? Yes, three minutes. Okay, good. Alright, so we'll take those. I think we'll go ahead and do a bit of ramping. Um, okay. We'll take that. One hiss speaker. Um, was there another one on four that I could use? Uh, I'll take a preserve of the root. That's okay. 
I'm just trying to figure out which else I want. So that summons a creature. Hmm, do I want any neutrals? Um, you know, I'm not 100% sure. Of course, we'll need a few more actions in hand. Blackmails will do, the healing potions will be good. I'll also put the sappers in for a little extra health. So is there anything here that I want? Uh, do I want to play with dragons? That would be interesting. I might want to do that. I'm not sure we're gonna really we're gonna be able to buff our creatures up to be able to use the East Empire Crafter. So probably not that. Uh, I just gotta what was the keyword? Let's summon another creature. Okay, so let's just go another creature. Okay, so looks like there's nothing else I can do there. Um I'll do that, I'll give it a ward. And give, we can do those, not, not really worth it. Is there anything I can craft? Oh yeah, there's a couple guys. Uh, Snowhawk Detachment, the Squad Leader. I might craft a couple of the uh, detachments. Have <laughs> a chance. Skulls of Dragon, Ooh, I didn't even think of that. But that requires guards, so I don't think I'll do that. Instead, I'll get the Septum Guard and then... Let's see. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Look at that. Do one of those. There's my hard removal. And then was it on four? Yeah, this guy's on four. Then I'll take my hive defenders. I do like the looks of them. I I'm not sure what it. I just really like the the different skins, and I really wish I had the piercing javelin. It was given out to people who participated in an, in an event that sadly I did not participate in. So, how many actions are we sitting at? 19 actions, 5 supports, 10 prophecies. Let's see, will there be anything in here? Uh, let's take the Marsh Leader, the Marsh Wardens with us. A little extra support, and I think that might be it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. We'll just keep him named as Spell Sword. I will choose a name and a, you know, a, cool, a better picture later. Because I, I could honestly, I could spend ten minutes trying to decide. But yeah, whenever, to those who don't know, when you, at the end of the month, you always go back. Depending on where you are, you at the ranks that you'll go back to is three, six, and nine. If you ever anywhere between. I think it's 9, 8, and 7. I'm pretty sure, yeah, 9, 8, and 7, you'll go to 9. 10, 11, 12, you'll go to 12. 6, 5, 4, you'll go to 6. And 3, 2, 1, you'll go to 3. There's also a legend rank, which I don't know what happens when you get there. I'm pretty sure you'll drop back to 3. You might only go to 1. I don't know. I've never been that far, nor have I read about it. But that does not concern us. It is a new, a new season. So this time, we're gonna hopefully get pretty far in the. We're gonna hopefully gonna get. You know, I ideally want to get to six, make some improvement, or at the very least get to seven. But today, it is looking like we are going to be able to buy our first five hundred from. My first 500 cost 
deck from the store, and I'm going to keep that hand. Hopefully use that new Emperor's Blade. Oh, that's what I forgot. I forgot Wolf Cage. That would have been that could have been in, an interesting interesting play. Um, now nah, I'll pass them on the turn. My friend would like to say hello. I could possibly be playing against an Econo's Cutting deck, in which case. Oops. <laughs> oh, that's bad. An unfortunate mistake. Well, um, that's... We, we don't want to do that. Um, let's not do that again. Let's pretend that never happened. So I'm already behind a mana crystal. Not sure why I didn't do that on the Brutal Ashlander. But... No, it's okay with me. Let's go ahead and play Wolf Pack. The next turn we will try out our new Emperor's Blade. I still can't believe I accidentally used up one of my Magicka Rings. Aww. I was kind of hoping that, because Brutal Ashlander can actually attack you with the three damage. And that's not good. Hmm. I think it actually will go ahead and put his speaker. And blackmail. Ooh. Not a bad. Not a bad one to get. Let's hope the his speaker can live a turn. And then the hive defender can come out. And probably our healing potion. If believers shall flock to our noble cause. What is that guy? Uh, after you play an action. Oh, that's interesting. That's unfortunate. Wait, what? Oh, that's interesting. Hmm, how shall I play this? Do I want to go, uh, the armor into the justice here? I think that's probably the better move to make. I stand to serve. They shall have no The next turn, Hive Defender into Healing Potion, which is something we should have done a while ago. That has, yeah, the Emperor's Blade has Guard. Kind of wish it didn't have Guard, because then it would gain Stealth in the Shadow Lane. Another Blackmail. Okay, here we go. We'll play a Hive Defender, then the Healing Potion. There we go. Pretty good. I like that. We might follow it up with Emperor's Blade next. Oh, actually, it is a good thing we put the Imperial Camp because he's going to get a, another attack as well. We might be a little bit on the back foot here, but at the very least, we do have a, a pretty strong wall in before he destroys it. I'm cool with that. It'll actually make way for the strategist. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> Alright, give me that, and that's just to summon another... Oh, in this lane. Okay, so we gotta play them in the same lane. By the divines, I will have your head. And here's a new card. At the ready. If they're smart, oh, they'll the walk away. 
Alright. Nice taunt, or nice guard. And he's got ward too. I so far like the spell sword deck. Uh oh. Not the hex mage. The ambition of the Telvanni knows no Okay. That's fine. Let us do that. Slay for some health. And I'll go ahead and attack twice. So yeah, not quite the bot not quite the uh token deck play style that I wanted to do this time, but I mean so far it's working well. Another lightning bolt gone. That's okay with me. Imperial Might. Let's go ahead and summon some extra guys. Then I'll blackmail something from him. <laughs> Another one. Two for two? I think it's a pretty good card. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that, so I'm not going to try. I'm pretty sure I would butcher the name. Another Atronach. This is definitely not an Akano's Cunning deck, like I originally had thought. Ooh, um, I can't let that live. Yeah, I think that's when we have to kill off. Well, that's just a creature. Oops. That's uh, 12, 11. And you know what? We might. We're gonna go just all in. I wish that could have gone. That could have went to uh, right to him, but sadly it can't. So he's gotta beat me this turn. Nope. Could use a healing potion. I do applaud this guy. He has played an he has played an admirable game. I will give him a good game, actually. I don't give too many people like a good game. This is action heavy. I'm pretty sure he's got the speaker somewhere in that deck. Nah, don't have to emote him anymore. Let's just give him a clean death. So far, this deck proved to be pretty effective. Though then again, that could have been him not getting anything. And a level up. How lovely. Oh, I'm so close. So close to getting that 60 gold. Which actually, with this level up, if we're getting gold, it might just bring us across... No, we're not. What card do we level up? Ooh, Stronghold Prototype. Now, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this one, but I think I'm definitely going to keep the last gasp on him, so we're going to put two random Dwemer in our hands. Exciting times. Dwemer, the Stronghold Incubator. 
And that brings us a step closer to completing our Dwarven deck. Which is still nicknamed Under Construction, just to tell me, don't play this. That's what I need a lot of these soul gems for. A lot of it is going to be pumped into that deck, getting cards like the Centurion, the Dwarven Hall, the Dwemer Halls, or Dwarven Halls. It's the same, except Dwemer is the Elvish name. But cards like that, and I can't wait for them to introduce a legendary Dwemer. And I'm fairly certain that they are going to introduce one. I'm just not sure when. I'm still poking around for news on a, another expansion. I still think the Daedra would be pretty good. Although, I was kind of reading up, up on, on the lore. And apparently, the Dark Brotherhood, the fall of the Dark Brotherhood that happens in this game... Um, it, it's very reminiscent, uh, like, it, it follows the lore line. So, this hat, like, the start of this game starts at the end of the siege of the, of the Imperial City. And where you help retake it back. The Dark Ro the fall of the Dark Brotherhood took place shortly after that, which is demonstrated in this game. Oh. Ooh, Shadow Mirror. That's pretty good. And in addition, Skyrim then took place after the fall of the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, that's bad. Okay, um, that's enough to get through the uh, North Point Captains for. Zero four. So I'll have to do that. Play two more guys. We're getting another one one. I didn't want to have to use the marsh leader this early, but the aggro is pretty bit thick there. I'm going to use Piercing Javelin, and that should hopefully calm on his board for the time being. If we can get one off a, off a Prophecy, that'd be great. Well, good news. He's losing... He's got... Oh, you... Oh, that sucks. Okay. Well, that's still the play we gotta make. And I don't want to give him any more creatures. So we're just gonna pass our turn. Yay. We're not going to win this game. Oh, never mind. That might, that's a step in the right direction. There's a plan. There's always a plan. My sword is yours. My sword is yours. I hear an Nice little top deck off the smashed rune. A little bit of extra health. And we also have Wolfpack and North Point Captain, which should help us come into the game a little better. Oh, that's... this isn't good. Okay, so... That's not going to help us. I think we got to use the etiquette of Azura now. You're with me, soldier. I await your command. Acknowledge. 
Okay, so we're barely holding on. We're not gonna hold that much longer. I think this is we're, we're gonna die here. Blood running hot. Yep. That's game. The battle is yours. There was no way we were gonna be able to come back from that. Plus side, we got sixty gold. Downside, we went down. So at this point, we're also at the point where we can win two more games. And I think I'm going to try to do that. So, well, I'll tink, I'll, I'll tinker around with the spell sword deck, try to see if we can iron it out. I don't want to look online for any deck formulas or... Anything like that. I don't mind using the ones that they have in game, but I don't want to go, you know, pick on someone's successful deck. Ooh, bonus. Oh, I haven't had a bonus round in forever. Well, I gotta win this one. Bonus rounds, basic. Oh, that's that's a bad hand. Should have dumped the midnight sweep too. Uh, bonus rounds is you win. You you win the round and it counts for two wins. And in ranked play, that's pretty big. I haven't I don't I haven't seen any at all last season. So or I may have seen one. I I don't remember to be honest. I don't think I saw any, but I know that this is one we have to win. Okay, that's a fire breath instantly. That'll help charge up. Charge up our fi other fire breaths for later. I'm not sure if it counts for two win. It, it's only one win, but it counts for like two point. Hit two stars in the system. Oh, no, you're not getting away with that. Hey, there's the other fire breath. That should also get rid of any cards that require him to be at more health than me. Wow. Dang. All right. We'll shackle that one down. Give our guy some armor and... Where did I even get the armor? Oh, I had it in my deck. I don't remember putting Imperial armor in, though. Nice. Ah, he got drained by Tarly. Nuts. That's okay, though. There's our Greybeard Mentor. Providing he doesn't have a finish off, our guy is going to go to a f back to, to being a... F not back. He's going to be a 4-6. Aww. There's his speaker. We'll combo that with the mentor. I drop power from the streets. And there's the last fire breath. So, if need be, I will use it on one of his weak guys, but ultimately, I would love to use it on just a massive card that he plays. Ash Servant. Not bad. We'll use that. Okay. That's one way to clean the board up. Sadly, we don't have... Have the magic, the mana to play, or magic. I had it right. 
uh, to play the Supreme Atromancer, which would have been a very great pick. Will find a way in. That, I think, is threatening enough to warrant using Fire Breath. Ooh, Iskrove, not bad. Uh, we'll need a little more mana, or magicka, in order to get that. If I say mana, if I keep saying mana, I do apologize. I know it is magicka. I think this turn you want to get the warden set up. I do not fear that. And this sucks, but we are going to do that, because that is a... That will be a big threat. Uh, no dragons, that's good. It means he doesn't have... Unless he draw, drew it, he doesn't have a sheer point or Dova of the Voice. I'm hoping for that he doesn't did not pick up a second Drain Vitality, though. Ugh, that's bad. That's definitely worthing the Midnight Sweep. We just gotta play the control game a little bit longer. Okay. There's Soul Tear. Is there anything in here that I really, really want? I suppose the Warden would be a, a good pickup. But I think the Ash Servant is perhaps the better of the two. And... Oh, I can't play both of them. So I suppose this is... That's the better of the two to play. In case he get he finds a way to get around that guard, we had it's better to kill him. Uh oh. He doesn't have a he doesn't have a shout. I thought he had a shout. <laughs> Ward crafter, that will be that's not, that's a yes to my creature. Or do I play... I think I'll play it on the Supreme Atromancer, though. Give it a little extra... a buff. Elements, I summon thee. Oh, he got a prophecy from that. So that Supreme Atromancer is going to do horrible damage. Uh, I don't think I have lethal next turn, even with the two guys I have in my hand. I'm just not pulling off lethal. If he can dispatch the Supreme Atromancer, we're going to be very pretty far behind because that was basically my entire turn. However, we gave it a ward, so it's going to be harder to get rid of it. And if he if he brings it back to my hand, then we'll just play it again and get four more damage and two more Atronox from it. So, he has to kill it. Oh. Eesh. Uh, that's bad. good news is he cannot play finish off or f or use any card that finishes off a, we a wounded creature. I hope he got some bad shouts. Alright, there goes with that. Wait, what was that created from? That was from Parthak. When did he shout one of my gut? When did he use that shout? Okay. All right. So we got crushing blow. Do I have it here? In essence, I, we have to knock him out this turn. So I think I have no choice. I gotta go for it. So we use that. Use the Atromancer. Play that. That's bad. 
I'm not gonna have it either. They make it too easy. But we can definitely put a hurt on him. She's down to eight, that would bring him to six and then to one. I think that's probably actually instead. I'm gonna silence the word wall. Then end the turn. We got crushing blow in hand. All I need is just to con get three damage to connect. We do that, we win. We also have to make sure we don't die. And the way I got my board set up right now, unless he drew something really good, please just attack with the nine nine into the into the guard. That would make my day. Actually, we win if he bounces the Supreme Atcham answer back to, our, to, back to my hand, too. So that's another way we can win. I think he's trying to determine if he can pull this off. I'm fairly certain that is the... Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, there goes all of my creatures, and he knows he has to win now. So we bet we need to get a good prophecy here. If I can get one of my uh, shrieking harpies, we can lock down that other creature and guarantee our win. Yes, that's game over. Because we got Crushing Blow. And then the Supreme Atromancer for the win. That was a good game, Mr. Eldar Demon. It was a very good game. We move up. And because it was a bonus, we move up again. So, we're going to play one more round. And that should get any... And if we win, that should get us to the 500 that we want. And if we don't, I might play again. We're going to go back with Atromancer. So, I have been putting a little bit of thought into which deck I want to buy, and I think I've narrowed it down to, uh, it's either going to be the Parthenax or Alduin. I'm not 100% sure. I would have to take a look at both lists. Welcome. We'll do that when we, if we win this game. Training is over. It's time to act. I, excuse me. We can't let that. Okay, you can now be quiet. Go ahead, kill that. Hopefully, he doesn't have a follow-up card. Of course, he's got a follow-up card. Hmm. This is probably better. Of course, if he has Imperial Reinforcements, this is going to suck. That's okay. Play the Breton Conjurer, and the Conjuration Tutor. Hopefully into Conjuration Scholar, if that 
if the if that Brett and Conjurer can live. I seem to be struggling on words. But if he can live, then the tutor will make will make a big difference. Eesh. Prophecy? Nope, no prophecy. Your death is my command. This is going to relieve a ton of pressure off of us. Tudor, let's get out there and show him how we do this. Alright. That was card two of our three card combo. Can we get the third one off successfully? We do that. This board's gonna be hurting very bad. So I definitely think this is going this is a by all means a guard a guard intelligent endurance. Kinda similar to the one I was playing. I oh boy. Oh dear. Oh, that's excellent. That is excellent news. Um, Don't underestimate me. Here, I'm just gonna play two more. And now I'm out of that Atronox, but if we can get a Dark Rebirth. Not the Supreme Atromancer. Um, Actually, since we lost two, we can soul tear it. We can soul tear one of them back, and then get another two. <laughs> oh, Frost Atronox, you're an Oblivion. You were interesting looking. I re really did enjoy the look of the Frost. Aww. Oh, I'll just I'll bounce it back. <laughs> Ooh, that's a thought I didn't even think of. What if he's running a... Hey, that's something I didn't think. I'm seeing that, and immediately I think the ring of imag imaginary might. And that could be pretty deadly. So I think we should kill that off. off the armor to prevent more health coming in. That'll rend that renders that guy useless though. And he if he does have one of those rings. Ooh. The conjuration mage never stands alone. I do want to save one of our guys, so let's put some armor on him. I should have attacked first, but didn't get it, which is excellent. I could really use one of those Lava Atronox right about now. I haven't drawn, I don't think I've drawn one ever since I started recording. He is desperately trying to hold on, and I do commend that. Oh, that's not one of them. Can I... Hmm. This is definitely a field we're going to remove all of. I'm just not sure how I want to do it. Go. No more creatures for him to hide behind. And here's hoping we draw. Actually, I would love the Iron Atronach right about now. We pull that. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't even have to pull it. I still won. Add another advancement. Alright. Let's see. As long as I get plus 15 gold, I'm happy with that. 15 on the dot. And Covenant Marauder. Plus 2 attack? Well, you have no cards in hand. That's definitely a good aggro deck card. Which is something that I find that the orcs specialize in the most. Apparently it's a new card. Okay, so. Now here comes the ultimate decision. Do we get an Alduin Apocalypse? Or do we get Parthenax Roar or Voice? Um... I'm pretty sure this is going to give me a copy of every card in this deck. So, Preserver of the Root would be is going to be nice. Oh, that actually very no, that that if that was in Alduin's Apocalypse, that was definitely modified. Or Parthenax Roar. I think I'm going to go because it is the beard one. I, I I just, I don't know. I'm not sure. I could go Parthenax, Roar, or I could go either or. I think this one might be more fun to play, though. So let's go ahead and purchase it. 